All right, today. Today, I want to make another video on the Bebop drone by Parrot. So, since I made my last video on the Bebop, one of my buddies has bought one of these, but crucially, he didn't buy the Sky Controller. Now, since my last video, I bought the Sky Controller, and it really does make this thing go far. So, I want to show you guys the difference between using this thing with a standard tablet or a phone, or using a full Sky Controller. And the other thing is, I read about a hack on the internet where you use a Wi-Fi extender to make this little thing go much further without having to purchase the 200 quid Sky Controller. So we're going to test that out too. So let's go down to the park and give it a shot. So for anyone unfamiliar with Parrot, they're the second most popular drone makers after DJI. Now, Parrot's premium drone is called the Bebop 1 and 2, and it comes in two editions. First edition, over on the left, contains just the drone, and it costs about £250 on Amazon. Over on the right, you have a package with the drone and their controller called the Sky Controller. Now that costs about £400 to £500, depending on the colour you choose from Amazon. So... Is the Sky Controller worth it? Let's find out. So today it's sunny and windy, and we're gonna take the tube down to Stratford. So I'm in Stratford, um, we're going to head down to Olympic Park where hopefully we're going to have enough space to test out and see how well the drone flies with and without the Sky Controller. So we're out here at Olympic Park, it's a little bit windy, we've got the Parrot Bebop and we've got the Google Tablet and I'm going to show you guys just how well this thing flies with the basic setup, no sky controller, so let's give that a shot first. Alright, so when you're using the app on its own you get some controls on the screen. First off on the left, you've got turn and up and down. And on the right, you've got forward, left and right. And then down here, we've got the takeoff button as usual. So let's go ahead and take off. Alright, so last time we got about 25 meters just with the tablet and the drone. Next, we're going to try a hack, right? So seeing as the Sky Controller is about 200 pounds, it basically doubles the price of the package. So we're going to try a cheap USB battery with a Wi-Fi extender. We're going to connect the Wi-Fi extender to the drone. Then we're going to connect the tablet to the Wi-Fi extender and we're going to see if we can fly any further. Don't be 
Okay, with the full sky controller, you got levers for up and down, left and right. You got return to home, start and stop. You got emergency down. We've got a record button. We've also got a camera tilt button, which is really cool. You can do some tilting when you're filming. All right, so next up, we're going to take it out with the full sky controller. This thing certainly gives me a lot more control with the levers, and I've got the tablet nicely in the center here. Um, but it's supposed to go a lot further, about two kilometers. All right, so we're gonna go take the drone out with the sky controller. One great thing is when you've got the sky controller, you no longer have the controls on the screen, so it's nice and clear. So the Sky Controller doesn't just go further, it goes way further. So as you've seen, the Sky Controller allows this little drone to go much further. Um, you can control it much better with the paddles and the video feeds pretty good the whole way. It turns this little drone from a toy into a real drone. <laughs> 